So with the Guardian takedown now live, I thought I'd make a quick video showcasing the possible rewards from it, giving you guys a quick insight into the items and what they do. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also before we go any further, for all your gaming needs, no matter the platform you play on and amazing prizes and incredible weekly deals, check out G2A, linked within the video description. So the Guardian Takedown is now live and it is in the opinions of many a decent addition. I have seen a few people hating on it though, a couple of my pals also don't enjoy it for the most part. For me though, I do kind of enjoy the challenge it offers, I mean it is extremely hard, maybe a little too hard, and another thing I don't like also is the low gravity, but hey I guess that is just me. But before we get into this, what do you guys actually think of the new raid? Let me know your honest opinion down below within that comment section. Do you also like me feel it's a little bit too hard, and after you've seen it's actual loot pool? I probably think as well you guys will be unhappy with the actual things you can get from this thing. Okay, so within the takedown at the Guardian Breach, there are six new legendary items. Today we check them all out. So firstly, getting into the weapons. Now all three of the available weapons from this raid drop from Scourge the Invincible. Now upon me completing this thing numerous times, I've only had one drop and that is the Web Slinger, in which I will bring you a much more in-depth video review of it later today. So this web slinger is a CLV assault rifle which shoots like webbed projectiles, where we see it shoots two different elements at the same time, mine shooting I believe corrosive and cryo. But I do believe it can drop off in a few different elements including incendiary or so. Upon first using it, it seems kinda decent but I wouldn't say it's incredible. If I'm totally honest, I do think it's a little bit of a disappointment. For the actual fact that the raid is so hard to actually do, getting this at the end of the many I've done and the only thing I've got new, I am a little disappointed with it. But like I said, a more in-depth video will come later on this web, Selinga. Next up we have the Globe Trotter. This is basically what seems to be a cryo version of the Yellow Cake. Now I have heard decent things about it from other content creators, but unfortunately I myself haven't got my hands on it yet. I do believe it only drops off in cryo 2. And it is that weapon we saw footage of a while back via a stream of this new takedown. Now the yellow cake has been nerfed and drastically nerfed, I think this may be the goal to launch it now. But like I said, I can't confirm that until I get my hands on it. The third and final weapon from this raid is a new SMG called the Smug. And I believe this only drops with one or no element, and that is Incendiary. This Hyperion SMG has a special trait of damage is amplified while weapon shield is active and at max capacity, which seems like it could be a decent weapon when you pair this thing with another anointment too. We could see some great stacking effects, and it's probably the one weapon I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on, but I will have to continue farming this raid. So those are the weapons guys, the only three weapons this raid offers, like I said it is kind of disappointing loot wise in my opinion. Ok so next up we have three further legendary items, two shields and one grenade. These three items only drop from Anathema, so I believe. So let's start with the shields, firstly we have the Escalapius shield, this one offering a trait of plus 50% resistance to elemental effects while depleted, which could really be helpful depending on what you use alongside it. And the other shield is the Stinger, this one offering increased melee damage while shields are full. This I have a few ideas of what I can pair it with and make the most out of it with certain builds, that it would definitely benefit for sure. And lastly guys we have the light speed grenade. This Hyperion grenade I don't think has any elemental offerings from what I have seen but looks really unique and fun to use. You throw it, it travels at a light speed and splits into 8 projectiles which all travel in different directions and it may have a slight bit of tracking to it too. And that is it people, those are the 6 legendaries that come with this new Take Down at the Guardian Breach raid. Now my overall opinion on the raid, I mean it's super difficult to do, if you're trying to solo this thing on Mayhem 10, it is real difficult. In a team, I mean I didn't struggle my first try, I mean we died a few times, we wiped a few times, but it wasn't impossible. But it does seem you need a proper decent build, you need proper decent Mayhem 10 weapons, and you need to know what you are doing. If I had to give my honest opinion on it though, I would say it's 
probably under difficult side. I mean, it's supposed to be like this. I mean, we want a challenge, but is this just too much of a challenge? And I understand why people are kind of upset about that. I mean, the game's been pretty dry now for probably a month or so. This update, the phase one update with the Mayhem 10 levels now on item cards. That was one update we were all looking forward to, but we were also looking forward to new things to do. This is a new thing to do, but unless you're in a full team of people knowing what they're doing and you've got great builds, I don't think this will hit that spot you are missing with the game. That I believe will come with the DLC at the end of the month. So it is in my opinion on the difficult side, maybe a little too difficult if I'm completely honest. Also, I just hate the uh, low gravity. I mean, I just hate it. But that could just be a me problem. But yeah, all in all, it's a good addition. It's a challenging addition. But I don't think it's overall what we expected. And I'll leave it at that. On that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Also, if you want to support me directly and become a member of my channel, do go ahead and click that join button. Again, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.